In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, my friends. Today is the Feast of St. Martha. That's why I'm wearing white. Martha will uh, hear from her in the Gospel, certainly, but Martha is a holy woman. She is a saint, and she can teach us a lot about prayer. More on that in the homily, but uh, she is a wonderful model for us in so many ways, uh, both in her strengths and in her challenges. So we seek her intercession today. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose Son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest, grant we pray that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be received by you in the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. And this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we must also love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his Spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him, and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you, ho you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother Lazarus who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. 
Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, we had two options for the Gospel today, for the Feast of St. Martha. That was one of them. And the other one was the very famous one uh, from the Gospel of Luke, where uh, Martha and Mary, Jesus comes to visit them. And Martha says to Jesus, Lord, do not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving. And the Lord says to her, Mary, uh, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. Mary has chosen the better part right now. Uh, I read the first one so that we can have both the Gospels. I can read the first one, which is so powerful. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the second one. I'm going to preface it with a question rhetorical question. How do you pray? What style, if you will, constitutes your prayer? I always feel it's the way that we think we should be praying. There's a way we actually pray. <laughs> and maybe there's a way we can consider praying, maybe a different way than we have been up to this point. Today's uh, Gospels that I mentioned, the, the one that we read and then the one I'm referring to, both of them have Martha and Mary, and so often, as you've heard many times, they're sort of pitted against each other, if you will. Uh, a first century version of a sisterly feud, if you will. This one, you're either, this one's right or this one's right or whatever it might be. No, they're both holy women. They're both saints. The first opening prayer really brings out just what a holy woman St. Martha is. Almighty ever living God, whose son was pleased to be welcome in St. Martha's house as a guest, may we too serve faithfully our brothers and sisters. She's a great reminder to serve uh, everyone as if they were Jesus, as she serves Jesus in the Gospels, Gospel of Luke. Again, both saints, and they both can teach us about prayer. What that gospel from Luke, though, could teach us about prayer, Martha didn't always get it right. <laughs> I'm sure Mary didn't always get it right. In this particular case, Martha, I think, represents most of us. Her prayer is, she's speaking to Jesus, what our prayer is, right, is listen to me. Mary's prayer is listen to him. Martha, listen to me. Mary, listen to Jesus, listen to him. I think that is often a tension in our prayers. Our prayers, maybe more often than not, are Martha's prayer. Lord, listen to me. Perhaps we might consider praying a little more like Mary right now and listening to Jesus. I'll give an example from my own personal life. I pray the rosary every day. I used to, uh, here at St. James, for example, I, I uh, walk around and it takes me a certain amount of time to walk it, to pray the rosary. If I just go straight through the rosary, it takes me about three revolutions around the parking lot. But if I pray like Mary, it takes me about six. I pray and then I step back, so to speak, and just listen. I might walk a full revolution without going through any beads at all. My prayer has changed over the years. I used to be able to do the rosary in about what felt like eight minutes flat. <laughs> now it takes me much longer. And I might suggest that if you pray the rosary to consider doing that too. Uh, perhaps even if you walk around just to pray and then after one of the decades, just keep walking 
before you start the next one. Take your time with it. My friends, prayer ultimately is an interaction, if you will, with God. But it doesn't always have to be us doing the talking. It doesn't always have to be us asking the Lord to listen to us. Just as often, perhaps more often, we might let God get a word in. Maybe our prayer, perhaps today, can be more about listening to him. United in our desire to deepen our friendship with God, we bring our prayers to him this morning. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for our Bishop Sean. And we pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are sick, especially those suffering from coronavirus, all of those who care for the sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are suffering from depression, loneliness, all of those who are feeling disconnected from God. We pray that we may be the face of God, the voice of God to them. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who have died, for those who will die today, for all the souls in purgatory, for those members of our own family and of our parish family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those intentions we hold in the quiet of our hearts. For these, we pray to the Lord. <clears throat> Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, in imitation of Saint Martha, may we too always welcome you into our home, our heart, as our guest. And may we serve you faithfully to our sisters and our brothers. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers and to grant them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Martha, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her homage of love was pleasing to you, so to our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ, our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Sean our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of Saint Martha, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me, my friends, in uh, praying the Hail Mary for the priests who will be ordained this weekend. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God.